All right, so we've been known now that Shield Hero is coming back at the end of this month for... Not, maybe not. It's not exactly at the end. It's, you know, in like a week and a half. And now for me, right? He is really bad. Like, he is unusable garbage. So if they don't want this collab to be seen the same way that Attack on Titan's rerun was, which, listen, the characters didn't help. The, the characters of Attack on Titan needing to be buffed right after and still not being like that exciting doesn't help but i think that would what would have really contributed was buffing the old characters now i can see in a way they actually did mikasa pretty well like the mikasa holy relic made her very very good for some very specific activities and it makes sense but clearly the aaron and the levi were not buffed and kind of left in the dust i mean they semi buffed their like their card didn't they change the multipliers i don't remember exactly but they're garbage it's because they released a new Aaron and a new levi but it seems like there's not going to be a new now for me i think that there's a great opportunity to actually buff now for me and make him good so that when you're summoning for the collab if you are there's more value to it than just the new characters and they've done this essentially every single collab with holy relics whenever they bring a new collab or sorry, a returning collab like uh, ReZero. The old characters got Holy Relics, which made them a little bit better. Like, Ram was quite a lot better after the Holy Relics. So, how can they do now for me? Because he, he is sort of a newer age character. He's not exactly new. He's from, what, October 2022? <laughs> 21? 22. And at that point in time, Holy Relics were already a thing, so he got one. And... What can they do? Well, just tweak it like they did Slime. I mean, change the passive, change the cards a bit, especially the cards. And I think it could be very good. We're going to try him on humans. Obviously, there is definitely a angle of, oh, you know, he wants to be run with Reftalia. But I think it might be better for everyone if they separate these two and make Nalfami a human-based character and Reftalia a non-based character. I mean, making them made for each other even better, that would also be a good angle. Not gonna lie. But... Uh, with the way category teams work, how would you fit them in the team exactly? That, that's my thing. Like, how? Wh what team would you run them on? That's that's my thing. So now for me, right? His passive has a lot to do with the whole, like, uh, is it what's it called? I had to I had to reread his passive because I kind of forgot. Uh, Mark of Death. So Mark of Death, all it does is increase damage of the AOE card. So. Back in the day when he came out, I say back in the day, like it's, like it was in the 1950s. When he came out, people were kind of scared of attacking him without killing him. Because if you attacked him like five, six times and he maxed out the, the, the Wrath, his AoE was dangerous. Like he seriously could wipe a whole team with a level two card. Very, very, very powerful. Nowadays, not so much. Obviously, times have changed. It's been a long time since he came out, but why is that? Why is he so much worse now? Well, <laughs> for one, let me actually... Can I kill the end here? For one, uh, his card. I think that his AoE is his biggest weakness, but I think the passive could also use a touch-up. His AoE card is so bad. It is embarrassing how bad the AoE card is. And all it does is apply Curse, which is a new, I believe is a debuff made for him. Which prevents an enemy from gaining ult gauge for two turns if they have not used the skill. Legit, they only gave him this debuff on the card to say there is something to the card. Because it's tragic how bad it is. And really, when looking at him, the first thing that needs changed is this debuff. If he could get an actual skill, so we're gonna do it right now, and please don't laugh. How much defense does he have right here? So he has 41.9k defense, we have Yuri's passive, and we, are, we have defense food, and we have Gil Thunder in the back as well, making our team a little more tanky. Okay, he actually did pretty good damage. I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting much worse, <laughs> much worse. Okay, I just realized we did not have defense food, we had dodge food, and uh, after the next match I'll change, I didn't have time to 
before I could change it, we already had already moved. Uh, but w that situation right there, okay, we had a very lucky turn. We had a level 2 stance and level 2 AoE. But other than the card, so give the card like something, like a damage multiplier. The reason why he didn't have a damage multiplier when he came out was because legit, if it did, it would be way too strong. It, it would have been. And, I mean, we maybe that example wasn't very good because it actually looked pretty decent, but like, in real matches against real players, it, you cannot make use out of that card for the life of you. It, it will not happen. Um, Man, it sucks that like... Okay, let's uh, let's do this. I'll do it now. Who needs attack first? I don't. Our friend is gonna wipe, so it's fine. Two stacks. That's it. That's it. Just two stacks. Okay, we're playing geared because I don't think it would have been possible to win a match in ungeared. Like, in ungeared, now for me has always, like, been not as good, because usually with these, uh, like, odd scaling characters, like defense, HP, geared is better for them, and is, it is no different for now for me, especially for now for me, like, the, having triple defense gear is necessary for him. They got the revive to proc. His Relic could also use a touch-up, like, only having a Revive on his Relic, if they could change that to, like, when he revives, he gains stats, that could be huge. Like, you know how, um, what's his face? The one from KOF, when you drop him under X amount of HP, he full heals and gains stats. I mean, kind of like Deer, right? That would be huge. Like, if he could also gain stats from uh, that Revive, it would be so, so, so massive. Yeah, the card getting a damage multiplier pierce, dude. Make it pierce. That would be perfect because people already had made pierce gear for him. And it wouldn't be the best thing ever. That's the thing, right? I, I'm not saying, you know, give him... That's like a really crazy one. Don't give him Flood. Is, it, is Flood even that good these days? Whatever. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. That's my point, right? Just any anything that would be a damage multiplier for this, his AoE would make such a big difference. Uh, also... Mark of Death is a terrible buff. It's just damage. Damage increase is bad. Plus 35% damage doesn't cut it. Like, again, they didn't want to give him something too amazing. The way he is built, like, he has too much potential. <laughs> That's the thing. He is legit potential, man. He is Megumi from Jutsu Kaisen. <laughs> he has so much potential. And it, back when he came out, you would have so many situations, I forgot to put the defense food, so many situations where you'd be losing, and then out of nowhere, you you pop in level 3 for this guy, and he full wiped. It was magical. And for those moments you happen against, very unlikely, but the large elephant that I haven't been talking about, kind of avoiding until now, uh, is Demon King Melly. So... I genuinely have no idea how you could make so Demon King Melee doesn't absolutely demolish him. I don't think it's possible. Demon King Melee's ability to remove stance all willy-nilly is truly devastating for any stance character. It, while Melee is in meta, it's going to be harsh for any stance character. It was harsh for Albedo, it's going to be harsh for now for me. The best thing they can do is either give him the Albedo buff, like first turn, he taunts, so that that cannot be removed, right? I think that's pretty good. Or he gets it, or he gets something, it doesn't have to be that, but he gets something once his stance is removed. Because as it stands, like, if you remove his stance, he's just kind of done for at that moment, right? Like, you still go through attacking him, which gives him the uh, a Mark of Wrath, which, I mean, again, for them to make Mark of Wrath something that I would fear, I would need that to also give him stats these days. Like, give him either defense with Mark of Wrath, or, if not defense, just 
uh, basic stats, right? Like something, give him something, <laughs> so that he doesn't um, just get damage from it. Because just damage is kind of trash. In any case, there are many ways they can do now for me to make him actually updated, and they don't have to go too crazy. They just have to make minor tweaks, and if they don't, now for me is going to be unusable, unless the they make the other characters made for him somehow. There's definitely another way that isn't like touching the character. They can like buff him without touching him. Like the new character has uh, something on his passive, like when ally stances, then axe happens. Right? That that is also something that they can do so that even if they don't directly buff now for me, then he gets you know used for that other character. But like that's lame. <laughs> It's lame! I, I think, you know, they definitely would want something like that over directly buffing him. And I don't know why, but th that's always how they do it, I feel. And it's not like there's anything too bad about it. Like, it, yeah, it works, but it's kind of lame. And let's say... You don't pull the new character, but you pull now for me. Or you had now for me this whole time. Maybe that's why they don't like to They don't like to uh, buff characters directly because they're like, okay, we don't want people that already summon for the character to have any value. So you gotta summon for the new character to, you know, get get your buff, right? Uh, in the case for now for me, it's like, yeah, they can do that where the other character has a really good, you know. I would, I would say chemistry with now for me. I guess that that works, but I don't, I don't think that's how I want to worry it. But in any case, it can work. It's just I really hope they buff him directly. I think it would be great. I don't know why you would even do that. Okay. I really want to win against this guy, so I'm just gonna. <laughs> Sorry, now for me. Oh, Arfa, you're just gonna do no damage, okay. Oh, that works. Mm -hmm. Oh, that works, yeah. Sure. Sure. Okay. I like that. I didn't want to win. No, I, I wanted to lose. Cool. Uh, yeah, not having Bond. And having now for me instead, I know, I know. Listen, I did what I had to do. <laughs> to put now for me in here. <laughs> I did what I had to do. Am I gonna win this? There's no way. Belly full heal though, right? Oh, that kills Arthur. Yeah. And the thing is, like, even if I had taunted with now for me, which by the way, he only has one buff, he would have just removed it. So, come on now for me. It's your time to shine. As you can see, this is the more, I would say, likely now for me experience is that amount of damage. It is what you're gonna end up seeing the most out of him. Yeah, yeah. In any case, they can do a lot of this character. I hope they do. Uh, I, I don't know if I mentioned, I... By stance. Did I mention the... the possibility of him getting LR? People have been talking about him potentially being like the first collab LR. That could happen, of course. Okay. This, he only has three stacks? How? <laughs> Bruh. How? Does this go? It does. I'm gonna seal Bond's ultimate. And her attacks as well. I 
don't have a ton. Not have, if I had a stance for now for me right here, I would guarantee win actually. I would. But now he can actually just single target her. Very unfortunate. Like, I actually would guarantee win. Because uh, now for me, would not die to Bon right here. But, yeah. That's unfortunate. It's literally just card luck. Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. I would combine for an ult instead, but he's gonna die if I do. Dude, that, that's just terrible card luck, are you kidding me? How much are we taking? Wow, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Uh, how much are we doing? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, he used to be the king of comebacks, I'll say that. Can he tank? Can he tank true bon attacks? Like, he can't do the combo very well. Because there's no guarantee crit, but th that Pierce card hits hard. Doesn't have any Pierce? There's no way I'm winning this. I'm gonna cleanse and I'm getting the ult. Dude. There's no way I'm winning this. <laughs> I need this. I need this. <gasps> okay. Alt Bon. He's gonna get Merlin ultimate. Mm. Should I have just attacked? Does Merlin ultimate even matter if I have a stance? Please give me a stance. Please give me a stance. Okay. Does it even matter if I have a stance? Because she needs to debuff me, right? And she can't debuff more than one time. It's like, if I do this... If I do this... Does her ultimate even kill me? Oh, he's not going to even try. Well... I'm going to keep the stance. For one more turn, so I attack. How much are we doing here? That Vulture stance not three, but you know. Remember when I said he was the king of comebacks? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Legit what I'm talking about. The king of comebacks. What was I saying? Oh yeah. Something about LR, who cares? 